Much better. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today we're taking a look at my new nightstand slash safe coming from Rhino Metals. Some of you may have already seen this thing in a previous mail time video when I actually took delivery of the safe because this doesn't obviously come just by any old mail carrier. So if you want to check out that video I will leave a link for it right up here in the corner. Now taking delivery of this new beautiful nightstand safe gave me the perfect opportunity to put some tannerite to the test. So I took my old nightstand up to the range and let's roll back that footage real quick. <laughs> oh man, rip. <laughs> dude, that was way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh damn, dude. That was sick. <laughs> yeah, so needless to say, I spent about 30 minutes picking up little pieces of that nightstand all over my range. Now this thing is definitely built to last. There will absolutely never be any Tannerite inside of this thing. So let's take a closer look at some of the detailed specs and talk about what makes this thing pretty damn awesome. This is a model LNS 2618, the Longhorn Security Safe End Table Slash Nightstand. This thing comes in that beautiful distress finish which matches my big safe pretty damn perfectly. The nightstand is pretty short and stout coming in at 150 pounds with overall dimensions of 26 by 20 by 18. On top there is an easy glide heavy duty drawer with full extension ball bearing glides. This thing is actually very very smooth to open and close. And then the dimension on that drawer is 5 by 13 by 13. On the lower portion of the nightstand you will obviously come to the safe. This thing features a UL listed electronic lock from SecureRAM. The safe has a fire protection rating for 60 minutes at 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. And the sidewalls are made out of a 14 gauge steel construction. Although it's kind of small with a 1.05 cubic foot interior capacity, the safe still has a super thick composite door with anti-punch and anti-drill bolt works. Also in the door you will find one inch diameter door bolts, four in total. And then the interior is fully upholstered which matches my bigger safe. There is an adjustable shelf, a handgun holder on the back of the door. The external hinges allow that door to swing open a full 180 degrees. And this entire thing obviously comes with Rhino Metal's limited warranty. Another really cool thing about this nightstand is that there are actually electric plugs in the back. So if you just plug the nightstand into the wall, you have access to not only three more additional plugs instead of using a power strip, but you also have two USB ports. This is super important for someone like me who is constantly charging things like camera batteries and cell phones. So this is definitely a big plus and it keeps things nice and tidy in the back. So I'm going to start by getting the rest of the frequently asked questions and sort of nitpicky comments out of the way first. This thing is coming in at about $619 right now. Most people when they hear that are going to go, Oh my gosh, that's so expensive. I would never spend that much for a nightstand or a safe. I get that. I completely understand not everyone's financial situations are the same. However, if you look at this from the perspective of a piece of furniture that is going to last you literally forever, 
This is something that you're going to be able to pass down to your kids or future generations and also you have that added security of a safe, not just some little cheap safe that you saw me had slid underneath of my old nightstand. You're getting a very high quality handmade product from here in the United States and this is definitely something that is going to be around for a long, long time. That mini safe that I had under here before that really had no fire rating at all, if the house would catch on fire in the worst possible situation, anything in that safe would have been destroyed, whereas this on the other hand is coming with that 60 minute fire rating up to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is basically one of the main reasons to have a safe like this. Now another comment that people are probably going to say is that 14 gauge steel is very easy to cut through. They're going to compare it to some other super heavy safe out there and again that is really not the purpose of this. My idea of the purpose of this safe is basically to lock up valuables and have them secure from anyone who may be in my house or if you have small kids. It's also here to give you that fire protection in the terrible event that something like that would happen. And also aesthetics. This thing looks pretty damn awesome especially if you compare it to the bigger safe counterparts. Of course if someone really wants to get into this thing they're obviously going to be able to do that but if you sleep next to it every night there is no way you're firing up an angle grinder and cutting through this thing. Now if you are out of the house and someone has unlimited time with this thing, sure they're going to get into it. They're going to get into any safe for that matter. If you got an angle grinder and a blowtorch, there really isn't any safe out there that is completely, completely impenetrable. So this thing not only gives you some simple protection, but it also looks damn good while doing it. Now this is actually how I have my nightstand set up all the time. I have shown some pictures of this on my Instagram. If you are not following me there, check that out. Some people were asking me about my lamp or my flashlight on here. If I turn that thing on, that is actually what I use to light up the entire room at night. And then I have a simple fan and then a little drink coaster there to keep this thing free of any condensation. Then on the inside of the drawer here, this thing is lined with some very nice squishy material. I will typically keep my EDC gun in here. And then I also have a TV remote and a controller for the bed. There's still a lot of space in here, so chances are if you keep anything in your nightstand, there will be enough room in here for you. Now moving down to the security lock, this thing is electronic like I said and it runs off of a 9 volt battery. You simply enter your code and then you turn this little handle wheel on the bottom here and then you get access to the massive door and everything inside of the safe. Now I currently have this cleared out because I do just keep valuables in there and I really don't store any firearms in here unless I have a nightstand gun that I want to keep locked up while I am not at home. This thing did ship with two different shelving options. Right now I have the smaller one installed that way if I do have a firearm here in the door, this obviously adds a little bit of thickness to the actual door itself so when I close this thing it will not hit on the inside of that shelf. Now all around this door here you will see the gaskets that give it that fire protection. Those will help keep fire, smoke, and heat out of this thing in the event of a fire. And that will hopefully keep anything that you have in here secure. Now I thought we would do a little game, something that I have not done before, and I'm going to see what can actually fit in this safe. Let's start off by taking the actual shelf out. Like I said, this is the smaller version of the shelf. Here you can see that nice leathery looking material that covers the entire inside of the safe. On the bottom of the safe, there are four holes where this thing came attached to a skid in shipping. And those of course are the holes where you can actually drill this thing down to the floor. That way no one can actually pick it up and run off with it. Now let me go grab some things and see what will actually fit inside of here. All right, first up, you got an AR-9 with a 33 round magazine. I think you could fit about four or five of those in here. You got a CZ Scorpion with a folding brace. Yep, that one fits as well. You have a Chris Vector pistol in nine millimeter. Yep, that one seems to fit as well. And it locks up too. Now I'm going to throw the shelf back in this thing. This is the smaller shelf that fits with the door and a handgun inside of it. Now let's see how many handguns we can put in here. All right, here we go. One, two, three, seven, 10, 11, 
and 12. So about 12 double stack nine millimeters across the top there. Now let's put some of the bigger guys on the bottom. 13, 14, 15. And then about 12 across on the bottom as well. And of course you want to make sure that the door still closes up. It does and it locks too. So as you can see, I got 24 pistols in here and there is plenty of room for more, even big ones like the Desert Eagle. If you organize them a little better, you could definitely squeeze more and you still have the slot on the door here for something else. This thing definitely has more than enough capacity for myself and it keeps things safe at the same time. So that is another awesome offering from my friends at Rhino Metals. If you guys have any questions on this nightstand, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to answer them as best as possible. If you guys want more info and detailed specs on this thing, I did leave that in the description down below as well as a link to where you can actually pick one of these things up. And I believe that's all that I got. So if you are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. That is all for today. So as always, thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.